the first map in this BO3. Team Liquid on the defensive side, and they are stacked up. Look at the C site. Two players there. One with a stole your control for Fnatic of your back lines with your Killjoy, the turret's being removed. So there is a gap here for Yumpy. Just depends if Boaster's still going to be watching it when he gets around that corner. It did take Fnatic quite a lot of time to sort of pick their Ooh. spot of where they're going to be planting. So a lot of these players from Liquid have been given the opportunity to rotate. Chronicle up close, ready and waiting, paranoid up, and actually he's going to be cleared. Good start from Redgar, but the trades are immediate. An instant double drop from the side of Liquid. And now getting onto this plant is going to be so difficult. An easy cleanup from Good for Liquid. And it's one that we've also seen Fnatic lose. So I, I think it was definitely more high up on the orb count at the moment. You don't want them getting a showstopper. Yes, Bide definitely has some teeth to it. And there's the first bite for Solkas. Okay. Already dropping one. Alpha Yair down. They're still moving towards this A site, though. They're going to take the control back and look to fight them. I don't know if they're aware of quite how many players are waiting here for this play. Nat snuck up close, but he's caught off guard by Chronicle Spot. Now following up should be difficult. Two solid oh, kills. Okay. Damage done. Yeah. Fnatic. Obviously, there's, there is a turret, but there's nobody to man that turret to keep it active. So they're flanked wide open. And Dirk is already down. Boaster left in a tough position. There's players in front of him, but he doesn't know about the late flank coming through. 50 HP has to check that it's not being diffused once it's tapped. And that's when safe will strike. Beautiful coordination from Team Liquid. And they will walk away with the second round. Just a few pistols, and that's enough. Yeah, I, I think again, someone that I, I, we've been highlighting all the way. Through. A lot of preference towards this A side. Always moving towards Soulcast. They gonna go through as well here. Alpha Year's in a lot of trouble. Those paint shells are coming and they're gonna take him down. Boaster, the last man standing here. Very little to be done in this round. One shot onto Redgar. But three more victims to find. And safe is the first. Blast pack through. He swings and there was a trade coming in from Yumpy either. Preference is most definitely towards this site. The wall up allowed an isolated duel, but it hasn't been won. Now the A site is under serious threat. The showstopper fired up top, and it'll get Solkus. Yeah, huge first pick as well. It makes that retake a little bit less deadly. Post plant seeming inevitable, but they're trying to hold on to a lot of space on this liquid side, and this flank coming through once again. Yumpy finding a big kill initially, starting to pincer in on the remainder, but Boaster shuts him out. That second layer to the lurk. Now this retake looking pretty rough. <laughs> Redguard trying a few TikTok oh. plays here and there, and it has garnered a little bit of extra space through. A second even coming up here. This is winnable now. They've actually got the cover. Look, you can try to spam him off it, but if you walk through that smoke, Redguard's gonna be there. Never mind. Being taken out of this one. They know that's not being diffused. Final players spraying away. Good kill for safe. Nade as well. This is so winnable. He taps it. Boaster's got to swing and check if he's still diffusing, but he'll win the duel even with a showstopper in his back pocket, but didn't want to burn it up just there. And he's on the rotate to B. This is going to have to be a retake I think setup. he's just going round. Oh, no. Taking his time. Trying to destroy some of the utility. They failed to do so, at least initially, but they will manage Good to angle. bypass it. Now he can still, that's the thing, he can still play that denial from a little bit further forward. And instead, Yumpy's using oh, his utility to just push up behind them. Hasn't oh. been spotted at all. Ways to make sure that he can get a couple. And even the aggression forward has failed. Yumpy has just taken over this round completely. And while Chronicle is far too far away. 10 seconds left. That is just amazing. A red guard should clean this one up. <laughs> what an unusual position for him to be in. That is cool. I like playing play test with you. <laughs> well, Boaster. Or poster, yeah, that's goddamn right. Alpha down right away in this round. Fnatic losing one, but that's okay. They can still steam forward to the A site. Poster might even get a fight here in mid, but Yumpy too quick with it. He's looking good today. Looking comfortable on the Killjoy. Not playing the Operator like he used to, which makes me at least that little bit happier. And for now, the Defender Lockdown is going to almost force them forward in towards this A site. Spike dropped. Both players have just run off without it. Still, still on the ground behind them. I guess just trying to do left. as much damage as humanly possible. But Redgar is just waiting on the corner. It's almost like he could sense the Chronicle was there, but not the same for Durka. And the smoke is going to shroud just enough time for them to get this plant. That's uh, just perfect. Okay, the spray does a little bit of damage. Forces the reposition as well. Buying time for Nats to get ever closer. A lot of these walls here are paper thin as well. And you can see that already Nats is trying to take advantage of that. Spraying through 82. Left on Durka and he's gone. A wall bang headshot from Nats to close out that round and we go four to two and it's been a great start to the game for yumpy especially 
seven and two on the scoreboard. Nats, maybe that little bit further behind. Um, Mitch will be happy. You've got a nightmare that could be coming to take you in the form of the nightfall and a showstopper for say. Certainly no. They got four outs now. No cosmic divide. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> nice shot, Durka. A brave challenge onto Redgar. And it's worked out here. Traded it back. And a lockdown available for Fnatic. They have unbelievable amounts of delay potential. And sure, a nightfall of their own could be fairly impactful here. They may not even need it. Doug, up close, Welcome has a showstopper as well. He could end what? this round on his own. Oh, this is just for control. You're not even seeing that Viper's Pit touch the spike. Literally just locking out their opponents. And look, Durka, he should have a chance here. Halfway already done on that. He's got to fire eventually. That's too shallow. Not even damage, but it's bought the time, and that's what it's all about. Crowd control, and they've been kept back. Now the three players looking to steam back through, but the time already waning. They need some kills right here and now, and the kills are going Fnatic's way. Hey, you might think about saving, but that's not an option anymore. Safe's down below. He's on the site, and the Viper's pin is dropped to give them vision. Well handled by Fnatic. One player low. Solkis now on the ball, and he's got one, but where's the fadeaway? How does he cross back? He'll be spotted on the way, and it'll take a second. Fair he's enough. done more than enough. Yeah, that's the thing. You talk about the fadeaway, but the two kills, one death. He's allowed for rotations to come in from his teammates. He's done an impeccable job of just holding down this side of the map. They've also got the broken door locked down as well. There's not really many places for Fnatic to go without having to eliminate someone along their path. The A site. It's somewhat open for business, but you can see that Redgar's already set up with the Operator. A misstep oh, here not. could be another man advantage. Well, that plan's coming through either way, and Team Liquid sit ready, as you said, to convert over those advantages with Fnatic. Not really having a safe place to play from. Maybe Tree, but they need something else. A corner of their own, and they'll get it. Nats is down. Oh, no, Yuffie! It's gone running in with a shorty. You can't expect that kind of play. A kill from Redgar leaves just one man, and he's, he's so far, far away. Far. He can never stop this defuse, and with a bullet in his head, that's assured. There's a good start to this one. Run. Safe down already. Claire close, though. This is going to come down to timing. What corner is going to be checked? The shot's missed. Down to the shorty, and Redgar wins it! <laughs> no way. That is a strange fight. <laughs> to say the least, you might be wondering why Boaster's spraying the floor, worried about Killjoy utility, but it's on B this round. They've got their control, but this is where Nats would have the opportunity to make that spray play. Unfortunately, he's back down to a Phantom. Oh, that's been heard by Alpha. Bear in mind, Redgar is down to a slither of Fight HP. Planted. Didn't get rid of it. Well, wow. an easy kill in the end, and that removes one prong to this three-man retake. The rest all coming from the same angle. It's going to be much more problematic. We had a good smoke down a moment ago to keep them back, allow the plan. But now it's all about denying that defuse. They've got the angle. Two players on mound as well. Durka up close. And he's just an annoyance for this squad. Nano off. And so too are the players of Team Liquid off the site and out of here running to the spawn to save these weapons. That's Fnatic bouncing right back and looking very good doing it as well. Four players alive at the end of this round. Yeah, it, it does feel if they're allowed to get into their post plants, it almost seems like they're unstoppable. Like, there's been moments in some of the retakes where it's like, okay, maybe a 2v2, but if it's earlier in the round and they have all the utility they need, they can watch onto that flank. It would take them while that spot was vacant. However, they will still have some defensive capabilities and they'll be decimated by a showstopper. Yeah, that fake smoke on B really baited them in. Boaster using his utility well just to buy those extra couple of seconds. Nice position from Durka. It's not expected. Solkus, he spotted him though, and will win what? the fight on a sliver of health. Traded out afterwards, but that is more than I thought he was getting. Fnatic still have the man advantage though. And with the spike planted, time ticking away, it's not in a great spot for them to defend from mound, but at the end of the day, they've got the bodies to throw at this one. Team Liquid need to go huge on an individual level. Only two rifles making their way through as well. Safe's already burned up his nade. Now lose Redgar right away. Man that was doing all the damage last time on Lotus. Nats tries to fill his boost. There's two, but a snake bite behind him will catch him off guard. Just two health left, and that was more than enough. With Safe falling, we're neck and neck. Also where the, the six, well, obviously five of those then come in on the other side, so. It is a much better start again. We see this aggressive push from Redgar. He's had a lot of success with this operator. Taking down Durka, he has easily been the best player so far in this half. 
for now at least, Fnatic are going to have to try and work with that. And they do have a Viper's oh, Pit, yeah. as does Nats, but um, maybe not the weapon you want in a yeah. Viper's Pit. I don't even think you can argue that one. I, I can, actually. Rate of Fire is pretty high. You just spray mm. a line across about it the they're already in there. Yeah, Tracers are not great. That's uh, maybe put a silencer on it first. Already trades in for Yumpy. b site under threat. There's the Viper's Pit. Waiting for that to come through. The plant should be safe. Now, here's the thing. Fighting through a pit with this, not actually that bad. He's going to use his own a counter pit in play. Uh, safe actually needs to stay alive here, section these players off. It's his position that they're most likely to be in. It's where the Viper's pit doesn't intersect, but the spike is covered. They're able to get on it. Snake bites fired through, a little shallow actually, almost blocking them in. They, they don't want to run through and Leo's get vulnerable. Just Leo, they're good to get, to get the kill. You know, he's just being sat up close, tanking those shots through, and he'll survive even still. Again, a sliver of health. He just needs the one, and there it is from Nats. Oh, and he's got another! The Odin dropping the pit and getting the round for this squad. Oh, too often. Nats can get it. The time is close. I think he has it just no, about. No, 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 he hasn't, he hasn't. It's, two. it's from the grave, Chronicle finding two. We looked at him as well. Yeah, exactly. It's just ridiculous. A round one from the grave. And six now on the board for Fnatic. Team Liquid in a scrap to find this final, but Solkus was pushed back by every piece of utility they have in their arsenal. Now a nade online as well. It's going to make it around the corner, and it is on that lockdown. Out of the round. Canceling out every play they try to make here. And I fall in play, and look who's close. Taking advantage of it, but he doesn't even get the kill. It was Leo further back assisting. Two guns trained on that angle. And I think both players red to be on this flank at this point. Definitely now with Redgar finding that. Time to fade back and play the 4v2. Well, Safe would have to basically toggle on an aimbot if he's going to have any chance of taking home this round. I feel that these players are coming either way, though. That information found, and Durka straight through the orb. It's not a wall. He can walk right through it and take the kills. Two already, and he's faded back. Nade online, ready to go. And these players still need to pick that spike up and get it back on the ground and activate it. Swarm Grenade might buy them time. There's a gap. There's a little gap. Yeah, we've seen statistically Fnatic have been fantastic in pistols, and I do think that having Durka has definitely helped out with that. We'll see if there's going to be the ability to find any sort of response. Yumpy's stuck in the mud at the back of the site. And, well, they're running out of time now to sort of find anything. Get that plant through, Durka feeling confident oh. and just clears him out. A 4K. I'd be very impressed. Like, I, I, I think maybe another match is Whoa. okay again. It's just the, the ghosts. Is that something we've been underrating? Because we, we always talk about the shorty, oh. but... Oh, a chance for almost Attackers. getting he both kills. Us. Yeah, he, he collapsed him. Unfortunately, the Marshal not quite as strong as the oh. Operator. And, well, maybe he gets a little bit greedy himself. He's now fallen. Still, you'll take it. As long as they don't lose anybody else in this round, they, they can still be relatively happy. Mm. I think they've already, lost last a, time. they've already lost a Bulldog. They have, but they, they could recover that. It should be brought to them later on. Never mind. Nice shot, Leo down, and so is Chronicle. Not again. It's all left on the IGL. Boaster leading by example in this. And a stinger in hand. He might have a, an upgrade somewhere that he can grab. They've picked up a I Bulldog on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's bodies everywhere, though. Left. On his way back through. Planted. Going through the wall, tanking the decay. The one advantage here, they don't know where he is, but the second that that information falls into Liquid's hands, they should have this locked down. They've got the numbers for it. Nats and Sulk is tagged up. It makes it a little easier on that swing in towards the tree, but then you've got to deal with safe later and the time ticking away as well. The wind conditions stacking up for Boaster. He'll tap it at first. To bait them out into the open. There they are! He'll get two, but like we said. They've gambled on C. Four players here. The other on B. A site completely open. And okay, they're going to be given the sound cue, the huge display on the map of the revolving door, giving things away, but getting into a spot where they can do anything about it, well, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I mean, there's 12 seconds left, but that plant is coming in. I don't think there's any way left. to deny it. Never mind. They've denied it for at least a second, pulled him off the site. Four seconds left. Did they kill him with that nade? If it had have landed, it could have, but Salfi here's left alone. Finds a bit of damage, but that is all. The benefit here is huge. So Leo already got an orb, managed to sneak up close. Now he's making a lot of noise. He's jumping around, jump spotting it, grabbing the information. 
The idea is that if they see him there, they shouldn't expect Durka to be up close. But now, there's no contact. They've waited their 30 seconds, they've seen nothing, and no, okay. Durka's gone! The showstopper doesn't get let loose. The Seize is kept oh, safe back. He no. can't claim the space he wants, but he might be on for a kill, no. A little too shallow. Leo stuck around. This is a very brave move. Ambitious. He needs to get a lot done from this spot. And he'll get absolutely nothing. Be able to get the one. Safe sacrifices left. himself so the team can get the space in the trade. Although there's going to be a little bit of damage off the utility, you now have to call into question, okay, is this worth risking? Or do you want to just hold on to the weaponry? No, this is this is a save. I, I I find it hard to believe they go for anything else and just look at that body language. We're already seeing these players make that call. Another round for Team Liquid. And, you know, after losing that pistol, I did start to worry a little bit that Fnatic might run away with things, but the response was there immediately. Yeah. And Liquid are fighting pound for pound up against Fnatic. They're not falling into these pitfalls. Their XX are looking good. And even the way they're pushing and pulling the map is, is looking fantastic. This is a much stronger squad than the last time they faced. And Boaster, well, he's got some protection. Yeah, that, that's the thing you have to bear in mind with this map in general is it has been lost four times. Zaysh is a god. There you go. Hey, I'm, I'm all right with that conclusion. Backside, tough to play here. Utility falls on you a lot of the time. And there's the paranoia. There goes the Seize up behind, forced into the open. And he is down and out of the round. Chronicle was there to support him, but now he's fallen back and Nade right on his feet and the shells will get him. Boaster, the next line of defense, Odin in hand, good for one. The spray's coming through, but he swung on and Nats will punish. The smoke not down in time. It would have helped the defenders in that moment, but almost timing it perfectly as that player falls. Fnatic now left in a 2v4. Odin uh, picked up Odin. by Durka. He's trying to deny the plant. But again, once the smoke fades, this becomes very difficult to get done. That almost got him. That was so damn close. A haircut for Nazi, 16 HP down in the water. Nobody wants to be the first one to step on no. site. Look at that delay power. But it starts to look like maybe they're faking, maybe they're going somewhere else. Good plan spot. Nade coming through, predicting that they'll go there. I'll get some damage, maybe. I walk through, they know there's been an Odin here. And instead, they're just going to put the pressure. Bosa just has to retreat. Yeah, he's not too upset about that, but losing Chronicle, that's going to put a bit of a dampener on this he's situation. Stuck. He is seized up, spraying back and getting Redgar. A good kill for Boaster, but he won't be able Ooh, to deny that plant. The nade has sectioned him off completely. There. That means Team Liquid get to set up outside of the site. The key thing being Yumpy still has that lockdown. It's not easy to use here. Not easy to use. Mm. Uh, he can use it as a counter, though. That's the thing. Exactly. If Alpha now tries to use his, throw it in. There it they is. can do the same on the other side by exactly the same amount of time. Good spot. And Fnatic almost have to just push in here. They have to start moving forward. Now, they've cleared safe. That was the sort of danger man within the site. And now they're just trying to destroy that lockdown. I don't know if it's going to work out. So they have to retreat all the way back, buying a lot of time, but also removing a lot of the danger of that cosmic divide, which will now look to fade as they get slowly picked apart. Alpha, your team apart, but he only gets one this time. And up close, Boaster. Oh, he doesn't. Ex I mean, why would you expect it? Look at that position from Redgar. No. Okay. There won't be a punish on the back of it. Could have been an awkward duel. Instead, they're just going to group up and push Boaster on the side. Again, just farming those orbs early in the round. Something Fnatic themselves have done quite regularly. And once again, building into the seaside, the execution on this side of the map has been sublime. Constantly forcing Fnatic to play a sort of retake setup, not really being able to hold any level of control because of all the utility that's been going through. Really nice shot from Boaster. The spam through the wall does a fair bit of damage, and they're actually going to hightail it. Yumpy has taken so much control. 30 seconds left. They're aware they gave it up, but a split second mistake from Chronicle. He's too late to turn around when he makes it around the corner. I like the attempt to wall bang through. But the plan has come in inside the Viper's pit, and this will be very what? difficult to fight back into. They've only dropped one. The spray is good on the box. Boaster getting tagged up a little more. Durka on one. Nats has fallen. Pit is down, and Yumpy, they can't do it. Oh my god. Somehow. They have walked away with a victory in this round. And, and when, once that pit went up, I thought it was over. I, I feel like Leo, like, sometimes he'll have, like, a quieter game. And then he's like that guy in your matchmaking who just seems to... Lil Durka ended up tagged pretty heavily. Safe's got to fire. He's gone. <laughs> the the showstopper helped him evade the paint shells. He'll get a kill for his trouble, but the return is instantaneous from Fnatic. 
their advantage, whoops, their advantage will be held for now. I think he was waiting to see if anyone would run through the door. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> He's trying to spray it quickly because that should be their point of contact if yeah. they were going to kill him. It makes sense. It just looks quite funny. But yeah, with safe tagged up and left down on 12 HP, Fnatic, man advantage, well, look, Viper's look hit look to recover. As well. Cover yeah, and, and great information. It, this does seem like maybe they get a plant, but the post plant will be an incredibly tough battle for the squad. Just wait and see what Alpha does. Because a lot of the time, the, the things that this guy will do, the risks that he will take, Spike planted. not this time, waiting for the rotation to come through for the rest of the team. They're also flanking in. Nats has at least spotted that, holding now that that turret is offline. But unfortunately, he's not going to win that fight. Now cut out in the open. An easy kill safe, though. Might be able to catch them off guard. A side angle for one. Stops the defuse for now. One away from grabbing a nade as well. With 12 HP, that's probably his best bet here. Again, it's going to be tapped. Again, it's going to be tapped. And now safe knows he had to go through that smoke. He had to take that kill. And there were going to be two guns ready for him to do just that. All right, Tom, th 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 that was uncalled for. There was no need for that. <laughs> Chronicles got down. I don't know if that was just a raw spam into the smoke that came out. That was Yumpy from like B. Said, that was Yumpy from B that got the... That's such a wick. I need to see that on a replay. I don't know how he's just managed to take out Chronicle, but whatever he did, definitely problematic. Not quite onto the plant either. And while the push through from safe is going to drop Boaster, I, I, I think, again, this might just have to be a position where they save him, Redgar might not even allow them to. Already pushing all the way up. Shadows traveling. Yeah, that save is definitely the, the idea for the end of this round over on Fnatic. But it's not even Redgar. Look at Nats as well. Never mind. You can't look at Nats. <laughs> he is dead. You can look at his body. Yeah, we could. What, what a wonderful view that would be. I think uh, for Fnatic, they're going to have to just save over towards the tree now. Tuck themselves in because you're going to want to take that off out of their hands. You know that for sure. <laughs> Sorry, what? What? No, because they're saving. They're saving the one. Okay. It's a tree, Tom. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, you did. You don't understand. Did. Oh, up top. Hello. What an attempt. And he shot down. <laughs> Safe out of this round. The showstopper. I'm not sure that's how they intended to use it, but that would either when they make this push through, it won't be too uncomfortable to defend against. Gumpy lobbing over some of those nanos to try and cause problems, push players out of position. But Fnatic had this on lockdown. Two players on site, two watching the other avenue. Seems like for Team Liquid, turning tails the only solution. But there's 15 seconds left. They've got to go. It's now or never. And they're running right into Boaster, ripping them to shreds with that Odin. Good night and sweet dreams to this round for Team Liquid. Fnatic coming out. They only lose Chronicle. He's going ambitious out through the door, looking for the peak. He's swinging in with an operator, and they never expected it. Yeah. As, and as quickly as he's in, he's out. Already gone. And again, it's just allowing for some earlier rotations. Chronicle bringing his util, but that pressure is being thrown in. The spike a little bit further behind, and you can see, once again, they're set up ready to try and deny any form of post plant. Soulcast is looking to almost fight for this. And actually, they're going to try and take towards the spawn, I reckon. He's got his Nightfall ready to go. It might be the right play here. Try and deny some of that space. Try and get these players out of position. The Odin spraying away for damage. The trades coming in from Alpha. They were so focused. Stations back over to the Seaside already. Leo hightailing it in that direction. They've got so much map control. You can understand why they're going to start taking these risks, expecting players to be towards that connector, but they've got to deal with most of planting. Without him dying is a problem, and the spam through maybe a bigger one. Leo's managed to find a kill straight back, but the aggression this time works out. They're going to take that man advantage, and, well, no one can stop the plant for now. Oh, that should have been a free what? kill, but good movement. Close to the doorway, at least. Durka survives, but now he's going to thrive. 1v4, Odin in play. Already grabs the first. He's up on sight in an instant. He can spam through the very tippity top of the mound, maybe, but yeah, the advantages aren't massive. He's going to have to have some of the best shots of his life here. All three players lining up now in a firing squad. One behind the mound, one behind the wall, and it's off Solcast's contact when he's too far out to get back around. Which is a lot of the time, his utility has been well-timed, but he's moved out now towards the A site. Instead, it's going to be back up from Nats, who's already tagged low. So is Durka, but he's just flying in. Doesn't give a damn, has a nade, could lob it in. No, instead, he's just going himself. 
This guy's insane. 11 HP, and they're not even gonna look his way! A little more awkward than it should have been, but it's okay. He eventually goes down, but oh, it's an easy trade for Alpha. Putting this left. round firmly in the hands of Fnatic. They're gonna need some heroics on that liquid side. Well, that's a decent start from Redgar. Takes down one. Soulcast looking for that fight, but well, he's found it and given the information over to the other side. 15 seconds left, still no plant. Will eventually come through though. Soulcast maybe expecting that to be more of a bait. And well, for Redgar, there's just no space to be found. He's gone for the glass cannon on this. And he'll be the last man standing trying to convert this round. Three players to take down and they get him through the smoke. Fnatic show just how many players are here and then get the kill elsewhere. Redgar onto Chronicle. That opens up C a little bit, but as we said, you still have Alpha over that side of the map. 30 seconds left. Yeah, now, now the time becomes a, a huge issue for the side of Liquid. 25 seconds, Darker is using their own smoke against it. Now they are gonna actually use the snake by and now try and split back. The thing is though, Leo was waiting, watching for them to try and make this move. Darker finally taken down by Timmy, but now Yumpy's all that left. 10 seconds to try and make this work. And you can see Alpha's gone. They will get the plant. He's managed to grab the spike and escape in the last second. Boaster, does he take a risk here? No, he's gonna have to wait this one out. And with the lockdown, he can buy a little bit of extra time. Oh my God, this is winnable somehow for Yumpy. After all this and tagged up on Boaster, it's the alpha trade that you're worried about. And that's why he comes through in the end. Lockdown destroyed and Team Liquid in much the same state. That map is done. Four 